Now I'll show you um, a little bit how you can use um, these these signs here that are basically the what's called an and and a or sign. This one is and and this other one here which I'll show you in a little well I'll just go ahead and show you what it looks like now. This is the and sign here and this is the or sign here. But I'll show you how that works in a little bit. This here, this and sign basically tests to see if both the Boolean expression on the left of it and the Boolean expression on the right of it both return true. If one of them returns false, then this whole thing will return false. I'll show you how that works here. Okay, so is 4 less than or equal to 5? Yes. So this is a true Boolean expression here. Now, is 4 equal to 5? No, it's, it's going to return false. So, although this is true, this one here is false. So this whole entire exp combined expression is going to return false. And I'll show that to you here. Test 1 is e set equal to false through that, and it's printed out at the bottom here. Now, of course, if I set 5 equal to 5, since both Boolean expressions are true, it will return true at the bottom. So, this AND statement, or this AND operator, has control over whether these combined Boolean expressions are going to return true or false. And um, well, the entire expression will ultimately return true or false depending on if both of them are true. If, if either one of them is false, then it's not going to work. And um, you can just keep combining them as well. you can even just flat out return false right there and because this is true and this is true the entire expression is going to return false because this one here returns false you see that's how that works in the console and I'll just put a boolean expression here Okay, so we have two Boolean expressions that are true and um, one false one. I'll print that out. And it's false because this one is false. So as you can see, if you're using these, all expressions returned need to return true. Okay. So I'll delete that real quick, and I'll show you a little bit about how to use the OR. Now the OR is kind of similar. It tests, but it tests to see if only one of them is true. If any of the expressions are true, then true will be returned, will be the value that this entire uh, combined expression returns and test 1 will be set equal to it and it will print out. So, so 25 is not equal to 5 but 4 is less than or equal to 5 and because this boolean expression returns true it will be set to true. Okay, now you kind of see how that works and um, course you don't have to um, just use straight out numbers here in these ex expressions you can say
use these. I'm setting test 3 equal to 5 and test 4 equal to 4. And um, I'm making a Boolean expression here. Boolean expression that um, tests if um, test 4 is less than or equal to test 3. And this Boolean expression will return true because test 3 is equal to 5 and test 4 is equal to 4. So, and it will return true and test 1 will be set to it and it will be printed out and I'll just show you that here. And we have true. And um, that's pretty much the basics on that. Um, there's a lot more you can do with this, but uh, I was just scratching the surface here and um, just showing you a little bit about how Boolean expressions can be used. Um, these will be used far more in uh, looping expressions and um, if statements, but um, just for now, I just wanted to show you how these Boolean expressions worked. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time.